Welcome to uh, today's video. I'm super, super, super excited about. Uh, I got with me one of the most inspirational, high-vibing spiritual coaches that I've known of since since I started my greatest journey. Um, Owen Fox is with us, everyone. The bestest verbalist <laughs> that I know. And, Thank you, Owen. Uh, I'm delighted to be here. Thanks for everything you've you, you've always done, shared, supported, and promoted my own work. Your friendship, kindness, love, and everything else. So, I'm a I'm a treasured or pleasured, and it's a treasure to be here. Thank okay. you. You give so much. You give so much and share so much of your wisdom. <laughs> and, um, I remember seeing your video. I think it was late 2011, uh, early 2012. I'm not quite sure on on the years there because yeah. well, I, I was still sick and and very much, uh, very much so. But I started watching your videos while I was still um, very much energetically struggling, um, vibrationally struggling. You know. Yeah. In, in those first y years where you kind of feel the denseness of your of your change and yeah. and so, so I made the transition back then into raw living I'm not raw now anymore I would like to emphasize that so it doesn't come off as I'm like um, lying or anything so um, if you can smell the cheese on me out there it's <laughs> And, and the meat. Uh, well, um, so I made the transition and, and, and I followed a lot of your health tips on YouTube nice. with your herbs, with your uh, fote. Um, <laughs> yeah. And just just a, a lot of your, uh, your herbal tips. And I started healing uh, nice. way more rapidly from, mm. From your information, we we both share the same interest in Dr. Morse back then. So I came across you uh, through our common interest in Dr. Morse. I think. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, Dr. Morse is awesome. I've I've, I've watched a lot, like loads of Dr. Morse, and um, I've gleaned so much from him. So he's a fantastic dude, beautiful divine spirit, nice yeah. guy. You know, I like him and I admire him. He's a caring person who's helped hundreds of thousands of people so I'm grateful to share a little bit of my own information too that I picked up from him and many other people um, and I'm delighted to share with you and just listen and learn from you as well up 100 percent yeah I love your I love your energy and everything that you're sharing too right from the heart you often make me laugh or smile when I see your posts <laughs> I remember uh, Amber saying something about, we watched a video of yours. She said, it is true Christ in part. And yeah, I gotta, I gotta agree with her on that one. I truly fear, feel the spirit of dear energy. When, when I see you, when I feel you, it's, um, mm. it's a very beautiful, nonviolent, harmonious uh, nature spirit that I feel uh, accompanies you, you know? Uh, that's lovely. And what did you say Amber said? Because I didn't hear that part. Did she say? She said She said that you, here is a true Christ at heart, she said. Oh, 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 keepers. Wow, that's pretty, that's a very nice compliment. I didn't hear you, hear you say that. Oh, that's nice. Well, thank you, Amber. And uh, I appreciate that um, from you as well. So, so I'm, I'm of course like really, really, really excited for for this one because um, I, I watched you before we became friends and, and I added you on there and, and it was instantaneously click between the energies we uh, mm. and um, yeah. I've just been following you ever since and every time I have uh, um, an imbalance in my life. I yeah. often go to your channel and figure yeah. out what Owen has to say about this. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, 
<laughs> what, what, what does he got for me herbal wise so i can heal myself faster you know and then i i yeah. I, I found um uh, the the fote which really helped my hair come come back in fully wow fantastic yeah lovely very famous for the hair and skin nails adrenals yeah sexual and youthful rejuvenation of the energy definitely in the in the, the ashwagandha i remember you mentioned yeah ashwagandha rocks yeah yeah so i, don't... I, I decided to have some ashwagandha and berries with uh <laughs> today <laughs> I, I I took some uh, I took some of my rejuvenate formula before this call, which has Hoshiwu in it and shizanda berries and dendrobium and um, like like gustrum and um, prepared romania. It's just like formula for rejuvenation. Oh. But I also took some ashwagandha, and I don't sell ashwagandha on my my shop. You know, higherselfherbs.com. Um, I don't sell it, but I, I actually just took some ashwagandha as well, along with some green powder. I made, was the first I made, recommendation you made. I, I I remember it was it was in, in your in our inbox when I asked you um, <laughs> for some extra female uh, power, as it's extra extra good for women or or something like that. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I have a section on my on my shop for women and hormones and men and hormones and various other stuff. Yeah, herbs are really handy, you know. Like they really helped me. Like the reason why I got into having a herb shop in the first place is because, you know, well, like you, like I, well, I used to be like just really sick and exhausted. I used to have a, to cut a long story short, I used to have amazing health, like super fitness energy. I was like, a, I used, I like to say like I was as fit as a fiddle and as strong as an ox, or I was like, <laughs> a, I was like a springbok, you know, the African springbok. Yeah. I, had, I felt like I had a spring in my step always, basically. I never used to walk up and down the stairs in my house. I'd always like run up and like run down. I just had like an abundance of energy and I was super fit. I'd been training for like 10, 15 years or more. But then I had I had a series of destructive beliefs and being very extreme at the same time. So destructive habits and beliefs along with extremism or extreme extremism. I just like crashed and burnt out and damaged like my body. But luckily, the body can repair if given the right knowledge and information and actions. So thank yeah. God, herbs were the first thing that really got me back my life back on track again. And it's been the many years of nursing myself back into health from being sick, back into a sense of vitality. And luckily now I can exercise again. And it took a long time, but yeah, I'm grateful for all of the tools of Mother Earth. I feel like more amazing every day that passes. So yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've followed your herbal advice as well, and and I've gotten my health back on track. It's herbs are really, um, it's it's the foundation of my health now. Um, yeah. She's Sandra berries for my endocrine. Uh, yeah. Uh, goji berries, snacking on some goji berries. I just ate some half an hour ago, and it's funny the way you're saying that because I just also had some ashwagandha, as I said before this call. So it's funny we're having some of the same things here. <laughs> I, got, I got my bowl with almonds <laughs> and some cashews <laughs> and some goji berries. <laughs> and I just have a little bit of bananas at the moment um, in case I get hungry. or And I have a little bit of... Um, just a bit of chocolate and homemade coconut milk that I make from the brown coconut and dates. So it's like just, you know, it's tasty and it's something a bit more fatty than just simply having fruits or herbs. So you know where to get some good cocoa butter and cocoa products and stuff. Yeah, I just, yeah, you can buy it in the health shops or online. But yeah. I do, I do like to get the cold, like, a, yeah. But I just, these days I'm mostly just buying the little, the brown coconuts and just, blending it and then straining out the fiber so i can have a drink with just the milk like coconut milk that's all made much cheaper than buying the milk in the shop and much tastier much more nutritional yeah yeah i've been really craving uh, getting a hold of cacao lately i don't know <laughs> it keeps coming up cacao uh, is an interesting one isn't it yeah friend of mine just got some work at a raw chocolate um factory <laughs> you did 
not a friend of mine, so I'm I'm <laughs> try to be uh, uh, loading off some cocoa butter and cacao butter. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, so um, you you got your way back to health and and optimum health with herbs mostly, right? And 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 raw living. Or uh, herbs, or yeah. We, we I think uh, herbs, herbs in the western zone are herbs, herbs in America herbs. and herbs over here. They say yeah. herbs as in a name. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, to be honest, herbs or herbs, raw veganism, or at least a lot of raw food like raw veganism and stuff like that, like green smoothies and fruits. Um, I think I find enemas are extremely helpful. To undo a lot of the harm and damage and congestion we've done to our like GI tract absorption and our bodies, yeah, and um, practicing celibacy to a pretty decent large degree, as in just conserving and saving my sexual energy so I can use it inwards to like heal, cleanse, and replenish. Yeah, I was celibate for three years. Wow. And does yeah. that mean like that's like that's a substantial amount of time? Like so, generally people who are celibate they try don't have any sexual activity either with themselves or anybody else. Uh oh yeah, I was uh, sexual with myself. Yes. <laughs> we won't get into that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you can be without actually, you know, expending the energy if you, you know, you don't have to do that like big expenditure at the end. But I was careful. Yeah, I was like, it was the kind of once once a month deal, you know. And yeah, that's and very little. Did not feel like having any sexual encounters with anybody, not even myself. It was just yeah, kind of get the blue balls out of the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, um, yeah, sexual energy is definitely. Um, that also helped me a lot. Just um, and 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 relaxing and watching humorous stuff on, on yeah. video. You know, like, yeah, it's very important to have holistic. It's not all about the physical. It's extremely also. It's important to do everything at the same time if you're really sick or you want optimal physical and life or or sport performance. And Laughter and uh, oxytocin. And oh yeah, oxytocin. Yeah, <laughs> hugging and cuddling or intimacy. Good quality physical connections. Yeah, just hugging and cuddling. Whoever wanted to give me a hug or <laughs> my beautiful, beautiful pooch, who's always been a good healing companion. And healing. Yeah. it was a good yeah. energy. Nice, nice. You got a, you got a her herbal. Store and we'll put up links to uh, Owen's page and, and, and your uh, your store uh, underneath the YouTube video. Yeah, and and if anyone's interested, in my website too, owenfox.org, o w e n f o x dot org, and my website is higherselfherbs.com. I was so happy when I found that that was available many few years ago when I started. Higher Self Herbs. It just has a lovely ring to it, you know, higherselfherbs.com. Luckily, it was available. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, ours was uh, available too, even though it was like um, uh, one of those typical spiritual things, you know. And yeah, yeah. it all it all works out when we're all, when we are in alignment, it seems, and when we are following our highest excitement and highest joy, yeah. which is yeah. also part of the work that you speak of um, in your work. Um, I love the work you're doing though as well, I have vibe to say, like high. I really admire you. How to vibe high, that's, mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, I, I often will watch your videos and have a have a good laugh when, when, you, when you giggle and laugh and it always makes my day. <laughs> uh, yeah, likewise with you. Yeah, you, you, you're up to a lot, a lot of crack and good times and good fun on Facebook. I see you. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. um, so let's see what what what, what is what, what is Owen up to these days? Like, um, 
any projects coming up or yeah yeah i suppose so like well lately i've been um i'm, I'm i've been fine tuning my own fox.org website which is like i think it looks personally for me i think it looks lovely now i'm really happy with it whereas like let's say a year ago what i said is like iffy iffy medium but i'm really yeah. glad i really maximized and optimized and added really good quality content that's free and helpful to people and also things that they can if they wanted to buy anything um you know, um, as well, a little bit of stuff. Like I have two books, for example. And um, so, if anyone's interested um, in my books, um, one is called the most recent one is Emotional Mastery. It's just about emotions, and it's a short book, sixty-nine pages long. It's a, it's a very spaced-out book. You could read it in a day easily, probably. I'm sure. Like even in, some good readers could read it in an hour or two, probably. <laughs> but it's a, good, it's a good book, you know. And then in my other first book is um, Awakening the Enlightened Heart. Um, that's just about whole body, mind, spirit, and it's a much bigger book. Um, it's a more wilder, my first book. It's a good book that people like it, and it gives me, I have to say, it does give me a laugh and brighten my spirit, and you can just pick it up and open it anywhere. The same with my second book. So, um, I've also maximized and optimized and fine-tuned my higher self herbs. I've put in categories so people can find out what conditions they're looking to help. I like to say, like, check out my, my herb shop for, um, charging, recharging, and supercharging your your body, mind, spirit, your your whole life. You know, um, I I'm looking forward to. I, I love. I'm so happy that you invited me to talk today with you, Ulf. So that's something I'm up to, and I'm just really glad about that. Um, do you see the camera a bit frozen? <laughs> Let me see. It'll probably come back again in a second. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, so let me see. What else? If I, I'm not sure if you can hear me. So what else am I up to? Um, I'm looking forward to doing workshops or, or like collaborations in person with people around the Dublin area in Ireland where I'm from. But I'm just saying I can't see or hear you, which is interesting. So I'm not sure if you can see or hear me. So let's see what happens. 